Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best cargo bars. Starting at number 5. Yakima CBX16. The Grand Tour above is one of our favorite designs for luxury cars, but some might want a more rugged look to match their adventure rig. Enter the CBX, another premium offering from Yakima, but this time with an angular and full-bodied aesthetic that pairs nicely with high-end utility vehicles. Like the Grand Tour, the CBX's mounting system uses a removable knob to tighten and loosen the mounts, resulting in a flat floor and more usable space than similarly sized models. Tack on a very generous 83-inch length, and you get a highly functional hauler that can handle tricker items like skis and more. That said, it's worth noting that it's decently heavy at 57 pounds a euro, unless you're packing fairly light objects, you probably won't be able to take full advantage of the space before maxing out your rooftop load limit. Further, compared to the largest capacity of our top-rated Motion XT, the CBX-16 will still cost you over $70 more, which may or may not be worth it for the chiseled facade. Coming at number 4. Thule Pulse M. If you value function over form but want to stick with the Thule brand name, the Pulse is a great place to start. You won't see many frills built into this base model, but there are still a lot of benefits to sticking with a well-known manufacturer, including helpful customer service and compatibility with other Thule products. In terms of the Pulse's design, Thule kept things simple with a single opening and combined lock-slash-latch mechanism, although you still get the ease of tool-free installation with fast-grip quick mounts. And in addition to the medium here, the Pulse is also available in a large variation. And the Thule's base lacks a contour at the rear, meaning it won't accommodate many modern, fin-like antennae. Finally, the Pulse's rudimentary lock-slash-latch mechanism is middling at best, and it has a tendency to put undue strain on the key. If you don't need the added length for fitting items like snowboards, the Sportrack Vista XL might be a better option for $150 less. At number 3. Thule Force XTL. Sliding in just below the Motion XT in Thule's lineup, the Force is a quality all-rounder with a versatile shape that's great for toting skis, camping gear, suitcases, and more. For over $100 less than the Motion above, the Force retains a lot of premium features, including easy-to-install power click mounts, dual-sided opening, six tie-down points, and built-in stiffeners for added load bearing. But it does fall a bit short in the details. The Force's aesthetic is no match for the Motion's glossy finish. The lock knob mechanism isn't as durable or easy to use as the more premium slide lock, and you don't get a nice grip handle to help with opening and closing. Both models represent the ideal middle ground for many users, but we give the Yakima the slight edge for a few small reasons. First off, we heavily prefer its latching design, which features a large handle that opens and closes the box entirely separate from the locking mechanism. On the other hand, the Force's combined setup puts more strain on the Laka Euro. It should come as no surprise that there have been issues over the years with broken keys. Number 2 of my list. Yakima Rocketbox Pro. If biking, surfing, or boating is your thing, chances are there's a lot of competition for your rooftop real estate. Add a cargo box to the mix a euro, most of which are about 3 feet in width a euro. And you're looking at a fairly tricky situation for most vehicles. But if you want to have your cake and eat it too, Yakima's Rocketbox Pro 11 is your best bet. At just 24 inches wide, the Rocketbox 11 is one of the narrowest cargo boxes on the market leaving half of your roof rack available for a bike, surfboards, skis, kayak, or any other equipment your multi-sporting self might desire. And for just $469, it's also one of the most affordable ski-capable designs here. Many users cite durability concerns with the flimsy build, and the nose design doesn't resist weather as well as higher-end models. For a small step up, it's also worth checking out the Skybox 12 or Thule's 460 Sport. Finally, before you load your rooftop with too much gear, re. And number 1. INNO Wedge 660. If you park in a garage or frequent enclosed parking lots, you'll want to think twice before purchasing a rooftop box. 
Many models here at almost 2 feet to the roof of your car, which is a no-go particularly for SUVs and vans. But the good news is that there are a variety of options for those who need to keep a low profile. The INNO Wedge 660 is one of the top designs in this category, featuring a contoured shape that offers 11 inches of depth while rising only 9, 6 inches above your rack's crossbars. The Thule Pulse Alpine rises 11, 3 inches off the crossbars and only opens on the passenger side, but it's much cheaper at just $550. On the other hand, the Yakima Grand Turlo is more of an investment, but tacks on an additional 4 cubic feet of storage, while adding less than a half inch in height. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.